furniture to me is very sculptural, so it's artistic in its own sense. You know, working with the geometry just sort of came after. It's like I stumbled upon this particular material, these strips of wood, and then I started playing around with it, and that's kind of how the two married. My name is Tiffany Gomez. I'm the creative director and founder of Gomez Design Studio here in the Bronx. I create functional art and furniture pieces made from salvaged construction waste lumber. This is the wood that I get from old houses and apartments that are being demoed. There's a ton of nails in them. Some of the wood is broken. And so I sift through it when I get a whole bunch. But the first part of it is always taking out the nails. I've been doing this for about seven years now, but before this, I was in corporate America working in a, in a design firm. I do have a background in interior architecture and design, and that's kind of where the design aspect began. But working with my hands was something that I was self-taught in. From this transition, leaving the corporate world, I wanted to really focus on sustainable design and working with the things that I find. I stumbled upon this particular material, these strips of wood, and the rest has pretty much been history. So the goal is to get everything to be the same thickness. So one side is gonna get shaved off through the planer. So everything is made here in the Bronx. I am a Bronx native, born and raised, and I still live here. For this body of work that I'm doing, we are painting the wood, and we're painting the wood and then it will be attached to a plywood surface. Currently, I'm actually working on a large commission for La Escuela Comunitaria del Bronx, and I have the pleasure of creating their reception desk, reception benches, a meeting table, and a very large conference table. When I'm working through these designs, I have to feel connected to it. If it doesn't feel balanced to me, it's not finished. My family in general is very handy and it's something that I grew up with. So it's something that my dad and my uncles all like kind of instilled in me from a young age, always seeing people working with their hands. And it's really an honor to be able to do this here because Growing up and even when I was in school, you don't see too much of this. And I find that I can connect a lot to my community because I am a woman in this industry and you don't see that too much either. I wear this as a badge of honor and I'm proud. If I wanna do something, I'm going to figure out how to do it.